Welcome to ligatures, and I love ligatures. I think ligatures make your design go from the ordinary to the extraordinary. So the first thing that you want to do when working with ligatures is with your text, you'll do each letter separately by typing it with the text tool. So I'm going to go A, and I will make this one an L. All right, an L. Now, they can be upper or lower case, however you want to combine them. Now I'm going to move it over, and now I have a simple ligature. Now to really make this ligature work together, I'm going to right click, create outlines, and come over to my pathfinder, and let's add the shapes together. So now that if I want to color that shape, voila, I have a nice ligature. Now let's do a cut, where we can make one letter out of two. And I'm going to right click, create outlines. And in this case, draw a line down it. Now I have a C. So I have my line. And let's divide. And then break apart. And now you'll see your C, A. Our last one is the invert. OK, so let's do our invert. And we'll start with our invert by drawing a rectangle. Invert means the absence of a shape. So next, I'm going to go to my text tool. And we'll write a C, type in a C. And as I do this, I want the C to touch each of the edges. Now I'm going to right click, create outlines. And we'll get that C to line, match up with the edges. And we'll select, and now we'll do the minus. The big thing is, is to make this center shape part of another letter. So I'm going to use my direct select, going down my shift, both, and minus. And now, if you look at it, you'll see a C and an O, and there's your invert. Now it's your turn to create your own ligature using state abbreviations, which you'll find on the page at the link at the top. You'll have to make up your own ligature, and you can't copy the ones that you see here, but you can use these as models. So get ligaturing.